Awesome. So can you introduce yourself? Okay. Hi, my name is Kimberly Baye. I am a senior. We'll be graduating this May um, at the University of Texas at El Paso. Great. And what are you studying here? I'm studying um, multimedia journalism with a minor in criminal justice. Great. And can you tell us where you studied abroad? I studied abroad in Morocco for the whole summer um, of 2015, so that was about three months, um, back to back, summer one and two. Great. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us why you decided to study abroad? I decided to study abroad because I, I, I didn't want to be stuck here within my own comfort. Um, I just wanted to basically explore somewhere else and see what I was studying is really what I wanted to pursue as a career. Um, so I know some friends that have done it in the past and they're like, yeah, go for it, just do it. And I chose Morocco because I've always been interested in the um, Arab culture and, you know, learn more about it since it's constantly in the news and we perceive it as different um, as opposed to when you're actually there and you discover something else. So um, Morocco is really westernized. So I felt that that was more safe because, you know, the nearby countries. So, yeah. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Um, if finances were a concern for you with studying abroad, can you tell us how you were able to fund it and if you got any scholarships that you can mention, please do. Okay, so yes, yeah, so finding the resources can be a little bit um, stressful and difficult, but um, there's a lot of help. I did receive the Gilman um, Scholarship, the Benjamin Gilman Scholarship, um, which is really um, competitive. However, if you put your mind into it, um, if you really um, just write your heart out in that essay, I um, guarantee you, you will, you will get it. Um, I also got the Sean Carter um, Foundation Scholarship, which is linked to the Benjamin Gilman Scholarship. And I got a small grant from the university that they also help every student who studies abroad. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So while you were in Morocco, did you experience or see any kind of discrimination or deal with stereotypes? And can you talk about what happened or how you processed that when you were there? Okay, well, Morocco, there's a lot of catcalling. Um, it's one of the things that um, we mostly faced as my classmates. Um, I did face, I did face a little bit less because I tend to kind of like fit in in the culture because everyone mistake, just mistakes me for a Moroccan, Arab, because we have the same, you know, features. Um, so it was just really difficult to deal with it. Um, you wanted to tell them something like stop, but it's just something that, you know, you have to get used to and overcome like just the cat calling so okay mm -hmm. and do you feel like your friends or your advisors there were able to support you um, through those awkward uncomfortable moments yes um, our advisors and directors from the study abroad um, program um, they they were always there you know one phone call away if you know if a man or someone is following you or you know, you, you don't know how to go about the issue, you can call us and we can definitely, you know, escort you or send someone to, you know, walk into your classes or anything if you don't know how to handle the situation. They definitely had advice on how to handle it. Great, excellent. So my last question is, uh, would you recommend study abroad to other students and um, what advice in general do you have to give to those students who don't know yet if they wanna do something like this or not? Yes, definitely. I believe studying abroad really creates a foundation of your purpose in life, of your purpose of your career choice, and it really um, sets a clear head as to what you want to pursue and also create networks. Like, you never know who you're going to meet when you're abroad. Um, and I know some people are like, oh, I don't know. Um, it's just go for it, really. The advice I give you is if you really put your heart into something, you will achieve it. Um, just go all the way. If you start it, just continue doing it. It's going to pay off and I will. <laughs> Thank you. Uh-huh.